In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement the uh, script from my blog over at markrackley.net uh, that will give you cascading drop-down lists using REST in SharePoint 2013. Uh, here we have the, a form up in, up in uh, SharePoint 2013, and you can see I have a, a list here of states, and I have it so if you click on a state, it will load that city list with just cities from that state, and this is the functionality we're going to implement. So if I select Arkansas, it just shows cities in Arkansas. If I show, if I use Alabama, uh, it just shows uh, cities in Alabama. So we're going to, that's what we're going to implement for you today. First things first, we have a few lists on our site. We have a list called states, and if we open up the list settings for states, uh, we can see that we just have a title field and the values of the states are just going to be our state abbreviations. We also have a list called cities. And cities just has a couple of fields in it too. It has a title field, which is going to be the name of the city, and it's got a lookup to the state field. So if we look at all of our cities, you can see the city name and then the state. If we want to go and add a new city, you can see that it's just a lookup to our state list that we have in the name of the city. Finally, we have a third list, which is going to have the form where we're going to implement the cascade functionality. And this list is also very simple for this example. Uh, we have our title field, and then we have a lookup to the state field, and we have a lookup to the city field. And that's where it's going to get the list of cities and states from. And our script is simply going to make it so when, when someone selects a state, it only shows the cities for that particular state. We're going to do that by dropping a script onto the new form of our list here, this cascade list. And if we look at that script, again, it's just the script uh, from my blog. And here we are looking at the script. You can see we're calling this function called Hillbilly Cascade. And we need to pass in some parameters to this function so that it knows where to get the values to populate the drop downs with. Uh, the first parameter here is going to be the parent form field. This is the field on our new item form that is going to have the parent information, the state information, and that field happens to be the label of state. Uh, the child list, this is the list where we're getting all the child information from, where we're getting the city information from for that state. Here we're telling it which field in our cities list are we looking up the value for? Which field do we want to populate that drop-down list with? And we want to populate it with the title field, which is the name of the city. And now we're telling the script uh, which field on our form holds that list of cities, and that field is the city field. And finally, we have to tell it which field within that city's list contains the parent field. Which, which field in that city's list is our lookup field? which is going to be the field that we called state over in that cities field. And we simply are going to call this function uh, on the document ready, and the script does a couple of things. The first thing it does is it attaches to the change event on the state dropdown list. So then when someone changes the state, it will execute a SharePoint REST query to find the cities for the selected state. And that functionality will then go through and repopulate the city dropdown with just the cities for the selected state. So back in our SharePoint site, we're going to go to our list. In the tab up here, we're going to go to the default new form. We're going to add a web part. We're going to add a media and content, content editor. And now we're going to link it to our script, which I've stored in our site assets uh, document library. So that's going to be site assets slash cascade.js. We'll apply that. And now when we go to add a new item and we select a state, it just shows those cities for that state. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, you could expand upon this functionality and do multiple levels of cascading dropdowns if you'd like, uh, but it's really good because it helps users 
to just not make uh, mistakes selecting the wrong information. So I hope you enjoy it. hope it makes sense. And uh, thanks for stopping by.